The men immediately went after their food and managed to catch a crocodile. It's crazy. Three, go! Oh boy, Acting there, boys. Uh, I don't know. This is like the boys will be boys type. <laughs> Look at this. Hey guys, should we catch some fish? Nah. It's a crocodile right there. Let's go. All right, guys. If you had a team of men on one island and a team of women on another island, who do you think would be the best? That's surviving. Let's find out. Let's be real. Let's just keep it very real. Two uninhabited Pacific Islands. One will be inhabited by 14 British men, while a separate island will be home to 14 British women. So I know you guys love my previous video on survival between a man and a woman. And these clips are from a TV show called The Island with Beer Grills. And throughout this beer. video, I'll be breaking it up in sections, camp, fire, hunting, and food. And we're gonna see how each gender performs in these categories. But before I get into it, if you're new to this channel, I'm Jay Hall. We keep it real over here and we seek the truth over here. I have an Instagram, you guys can go ahead and follow that. And I also have a second channel where you can find more of my content. All right, with that said, let's get into the video. All right, so the first I task of this challenge is for them to find a camp, preferably close to the beach and away from the middle of the island where there are all dangerous animals and snakes and all that. Paul thinks the group's best option is a beach. I personally want to just plow on and make it. I mean, it's going to get darker in here quicker than it is on the beach. Paul pushes on, despite the group's growing descent. I found the sea. Ah. Ah. <laughs> so while the men decided to stick together and find a beach, the woman set up camp in the forest and broke up into groups to go search for the beach. So one group's going to go look and one group's going to stay here. Who's in the go group? Me. Can I come? Yeah. Have you got your whistles? Yes, we're whistles. And there were also some egos involved. Some people did not want to be told what to do. I'm used to being in forests, oh, and I'm not going to be really happy if people start telling me I'm going the wrong way. Yeah. So the different groups of women that split up, they couldn't find a... It's going to be a lot of like, I feel like this. I feel like that. I'm not happy. I'm angry. We're surviving. Don't matter. Camp. This is actually the opposite direction. This is we're going back towards the beach. So the camp decided to take matters into their own hands and go find those groups. The women at camp are finally taking their fate into their own hands. I'm just waiting for the moment where found us, it goes so to got shit. No alternative but to find them because we've stayed and we waited. I don't, I don't even know. Two days, three days. Which defeats the whole purpose of them staying at the camp to keep the fire going. But whatever. <laughs> just for comparison, I will point out that at the end of the show. Two men, Kyle and Sam, got lost in the forest at night and were still able to make it back to camp in the same day. I will also point out that the fire the women were trying to protect went out, making the whole reason they split up completely pointless. Exactly. <laughs> and this commentary was from Think Before You Sleep. He actually did a very good breakdown of the entire series. So if you guys want to check that out. Yo, he's shouting out, bro. That out. That's nice. It's in the description below. Showing love. He's showing love. I don't want to sound too cocky too early. No, I don't think we should. I don't think we should at all. No. But right now, this we're, is we're winning. And I will give the girls props because they actually managed to make a fire sure. before the men did. So when it came to hunting, the men immediately went after their food and managed to catch a crocodile. It's crazy. Three. Go. Oh boy. Acting there, boys. Uh, I don't know. This is like the boys will be boys type. <laughs> Look at this. Hey guys, should we catch some fish? Nah. It's a crocodile right there. Let's go. Three. Go. <laughs> Let's get this motherfucker. They jump him with fucking three dudes. Oh boy. Oh boy. Poor fucking crocodile. He was just chilling. He's like, hey, what are you guys doing? Dinner, boys! Woo! Actually wrapping up a dinosaur. We just caught a prehistoric animal. So while the men had to go out there to find their food, two piglets just stumbled upon the girls' camp. There's a pig! Pig! There! Hello! All they've eaten in a week. 
Hey, I, I hope the vegans uh, are watching. Or a few handfuls of yucca and coconut. We've got two of the cutest little piglets in. Their little tails wag like dogs are so cute. They're gonna fucking keep it as pets, huh? And keep in mind, they say anything that moves on the island should be seen as a potential food source. Everything that moves on the island really should be seen as a potential source of food. And that includes the pigs. Oh, you're so cute. Come here, say. I'll be honest, I don't know if I could do it. I don't know if I could kill this shit. But if you're starving, you know, hey, you're really in the mood for some bacon. But I don't know if it's like looking at it, I'm like, I don't want to know, man. I don't want to do that. What the fuck, man? Look at that. <laughs> but instead of actually killing and eating these pigs, this is what the women do instead. They sleep with the pigs. They feed the pigs. They comb the pigs hair. They turn them into pets and name them Sage and Onion. They pretty much do. I mean, I get it. I get it. I get it. I understand. I understand. But pork loin, though. Everything with the pigs except eat them. The fate of sage and onion hangs in the balance. The women have befriended them and now can't agree whether or not to eat them. I am hungry. I don't think I could look into his little piggy eyes and then kill him. You know, honestly. This is kind of I cute. That, what I expected. I they couldn't I get bring that. themselves to kill I get the pigs. That. But what will they do when true hunger strikes? Because you know, hunger kill is a bitch. So let's see what they do. A hunting party led by Lauren has stumbled across a sleeping pig in the middle of the jungle. <laughs> the pig was not asleep. Overall, I personally believe women can be more empathetic, which is why it was so hard for them to kill the animals. And yeah, I also yeah, think yeah. a lot of people wouldn't eat meat if they had to kill the animals themselves. Meat consumption would go down. Okay, so... It's also, you know, it, you, you gave him like little piglets. And so that's like the cutest version of it. So of course you don't want to fucking kill. It's a little baby, but if it's like a big ass fucking boar running around, that motherfucker's going to die. Clearly, since they're on an island, another food source would be fish. And the men actually managed to come up with a efficient way to capture fish in the sea. Jump on it. By setting up nets. Bro. Ah. Oh. They made nets. Yes! Bro. Let's go. No way. A lot of whooping coming from there. Hey, I think, I think if there's like 10 or 15, I mean, 15, 14 men. Nah, if it's 14 men versus one boar, maybe one or one of them or two of them would die. Collateral damage, man. But I think they'd get the boar, man. I don't think one boar would kill 14 men. Those nets, people. I don't even think one boar would kill 14 women. Woo! All I wanted was just a fish. One fish. How many fishes have we got? But before the men got to this point, there were some disagreements to whether or not the net in the sea would work to capture fish. Hey, yo! Do you trust me? I would never trust a stranger. Okay. Am I a stranger? Yeah, at first you were. Okay. It's taken me longer to get used to you than it has any of the other guys. Because they sound a little bit like me. So unfortunately, I, I don't trust you. So my guy right here kept on going. He set up his nets in the sea and was able to prove this guy wrong. And he earned his trust and earned his respect. Sam Farmer, my heart comes off to you, sir. Well done you for having the balls and the determination to fix them every time. Because that certainly weren't my cup of tea. And meanwhile, this is how the woman captured fish. You have fish? You have fish? One fish? He's gonna throw it! Oh, oh. you're very, very kind. Whoa! <laughs> now I think that is a... And that's one of the perks of being a woman you're more likely to get help and receive help. Hey man, if it works, it works, right? Especially from men. Barracuda? We got a fish! Yeah! Oh my god, it's massive! That's what she said. Because as I said, we are hardwired to protect women. That's one of the duties of the masculine energy. So do you guys remember the pig they caught earlier? So they tried to preserve the meat by putting it in one of the water containers and it failed horribly. Preserved pork no longer edible. The women remove the pig's remains and jerry can a putrid meat from the camp. 
and convinced they could salvage a rancid jerry can and use it to purify the water again, the women throw it away. And this is a horrible decision because they just got rid of one of your most important containers to filter the water. And surprise, surprise, this is what happens. The women have now been without water for more than 48 hours and they are dangerously dehydrated. That's what happens when you get rid of one of your water containers. Their situation is now beyond critical. Medical advice is that the castaways are now so critically dehydrated that within a few hours their lives will genuinely be in danger. So who, the, who, who, who chose to put it in the water field? It was like, hey, let's put the rotting pig in the water, in our only source of water. But really, I've got no choice. And one of the main struggles that women have been going through is dehydration. And as a result of them throwing away one of their water containers, this is what their water now looks like. I don't want to drink the water. It tastes of pee. You drink it, and you go, and then you vomit. <laughs> that shit looks like diarrhea and death. Yeah, but but this is how the water situation is going for the men. Have you learned to hate drinking? Well, they're going to die. Drinking warm water. Actually, it's it's good. It's really good. And it, the sauce is just you, don't, you don't have to kind of just knock it back. It's decent water. Yeah. The water was not an issue. Yeah. And actually, dehydration was your own fault rather than lack of water. Yeah. Say so it's going pretty well. Shit. <laughs> and I really wanted to see the women do really well, yeah. just as well as the men, because people are going to see this video and think I'm trying to like paint the woman in a bad light. Misogynist. And I'm just showing y'all what happened. This is the video. This is what happened. And I think a big predicator of the woman not doing as well as the men is work ethic. I think the men worked more around the clock. They used their time wisely. While the woman had more pleasure. They also they also uh, the uh, empathy towards the, the piglet, which I understand, which I understand. You know, I think uh, instead of, uh, you know, it's a, it's a versus just for like uh, a TV show, this and that, right? But the best uh, um, society they could build or the best survival situation if you is if you would have put now it's 14 versus 14 if you would have put seven men and seven women together that's the best situation i believe they decided to chill more relax because in, in survival scenarios um, people will normally gravitate towards their natural instincts right it'll be like a factory reset relax more immediately the rest of the women are more interested in sunbathing and relaxing on the beach Beth and Lauren wake to discover none of the other women have done any work. This shows you the difference between feminine and masculine energy. If I was on the island, I'll be using every hour to try to prepare myself for what's to come, make sure I have food, make sure I have water. And if I was with a woman, I'll make sure that she's set helping out with the camp while I go out there and try to hunt, try to get some food. And because of the world we live in today, we have to give participation points to the women. We have to actually paint them in a better light. If I hadn't turned up today, and I turned up in six months. Well, regardless of, uh, of your gender, bro, if you, if you sit, because there's, there's probably also like a dude who would do the same. Uh, you just gotta, participate and work everybody has to do something some people will naturally do more than others and that should possibly be rewarded in a way perhaps become leaders or whatever of the group or, or, or a spokesperson or a person they look up to or you know a person who makes these decisions and stuff but if you're just relaxing in a situation like that like that's just a big no-no I bet these guys would be in pretty good shape. And I knew it. I knew the stereotype is wrong, you know? But I knew they could nail this. I don't know how he could say this when some of the women could have died from severe dehydration. If he turned up in six months, it would have been a lawsuit. So I don't know what he's talking about, bro. <laughs> like, I actually want to see the women perform really well, man. Because I actually want them to prove equality. So far, it's sounding like nonsense. This is funny. This because is Because I believe funny. that men and women yeah, if the if uh, so if the final bro the final verdicts of beer grills beer grills is very bare. Um, it's like it's spoon fed. Like he has to say this shit because else he's gonna get in trouble. That shit was ass, bro. It was it was not even comparable. 
are meant to live in harmony. I think not saying it's not possible for women to kick men's ass in a survival situation like this, but if you look at this specific piece of content, come on, bro. Really? I knew they could do it. I knew they could put rotting pig remains in their only source of water, which is the most important thing they need and would almost die of dehydration. I knew it. It's a good video.